And number nine, Diana again, Plumas Street Summer Marketplace. Yes. Let's so, the excuse me, not through the mayor. Yes. Before we start this, um, with everything going on in our community and the state, is there any way that it'd be possible for council to table this till the next meeting? Wait a couple of weeks and see what happens, and then we could further and discuss this two weeks from now to and give it a chance because I'd hate to have this approval and then it get shut down immediately. Eh? Once you know, and it's for, it's for the citizens of the community. Yes, it is, and I'm all for it with the DBA, but with the way the the world is right now in the city and the state, I'd like to table this if it's all possible. It is possible. If we could take a consensus on that, I'd be happy to entertain that. I would add that we could we could possibly approve it in order to streamline things so they can keep moving on track, uh, contingent upon um, nothing making going worse, and we, as long as we comply with the current state and local orders. Okay. If that is okay. acceptable to you. That'd be separate to me, yes. Okay. okay. Thank you, Diana. Okay, thank you. Um, so at the last meeting brought forward a request from the DBA to um, a concept that they had called the Pluma Street Summer Marketplace with the proposal to close Pluma Street from Church Street to Bridge Street. Bridge Street. Originally, they had planned a date in June. Instead, they've changed it to July 18th, August 8th, and then an undecided date in September. And it would be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, they also requested, uh, submitted a sponsorship application to utilize the $7,500 that the city had previously provided towards the summer stroll to be utilized towards these three events. The funds would be used to purchase face masks, hand washing stations, rental of security and entertainment. Also, the request included an in-kind request valued at $2,531.70 for public works to close Plumas Street. So at the June 16th council meeting, uh, council expressed support for the marketplace contingent upon the following. So submission of a formal sponsorship application, which they submitted. Authorization from Dr. Liu. And so I, I highlighted this one in red because I just want to note, not, Dr. Liu is not going to provide a written authorization. What Dr. Liu um, did is through John Flo of Sutter County Public Health provided guidelines to the DBA. And so the DBA has been working with John Flo and um, they've confirmed that they can meet the guidelines. And as mentioned previously, Sandy and, and Chris are on the line and, and they can you know, provide more information related to this. And then we also, uh, the city attorney noted last time that this would require an order from the Director of Emergency Services authorizing the temporary waiver of municipal code and entitlement restrictions. And so the order is included and council would be um, basically confirming the order. So with that, the recommendation is to confirm the Director of Emergency Services order for authorizing the temporary waiver of certain municipal code and entitlement restrictions for impacted businesses on Pluma Street and approve the sponsorship of the Pluma Street Summer Marketplace. One thing to note with the, the sponsorship is that it can either come from the funds set aside for sponsorship or if it didn't come from that, it would come from the streets division operating budget. And I know that there's a council ad hoc committee that's gonna be reviewing the various accounts. So that's not a decision necessarily that has to be made today, but it is just something to consider. And with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions or as I noted, um, Sandy and Chris are on the line and, and thank you again for their patience for staying on the line to get to this item. Any comment from the public? None received. All right. Any from up here? Nothing. All right. I would just add that if we could approve it contingent upon we comply with all state and local orders that may, may uh, come to pass between now and the, and the actual events. If the, if the council is amicable to that or whoever would make the motion. Yeah. I, Mr. The Mayor. Yes. Yes, uh, perhaps it could be contingent upon not getting worse in the emergency director's discretion. That way, she would be able to make the determination based on a day-to-day -day basis if things change at the last moment. Okay, uh, that's a legal way of saying it. I think that's the same intent, which makes sense. Um, so it would be at uh, emergency director's discretion, which I'm sure your discretion would be based upon anything that changes. Is that correct, Shannon? Yes, please. Okay. Are, we, are you clear on mm -hmm. that, Diane? Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, make a motion. Go ahead, Dave. I think you were going to do it. 
Oh, it doesn't matter. Go ahead, man. Okay, to confirm the director of emergency services order authorizing temporary waiver of the certain municipal code and entitlement restrictions for impact businesses on Pluma Street, approve the sponsorship for the Pluma Street Summer Marketplace, and what our city attorney also just mentioned. Okay, which uh, can, uh, which means based on the emergency director's discretion. Emergency mm -hmm. director's discretion, yes, sir. I'll change them. I'll second. All right, first and second. Uh, all those in favor, signify by saying aye, please. Aye. aye. And opposed? Unanimous. Thank you very much.